What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So it is day one of the pit, and I kind of want to just go over my leveling experience. We hit 60. I've gone in, and I've put in all the 200 points of uh, Paragon that I can for now. Um, hopefully, we can find some glyphs, and we will be able to gain some other points because the, uh, the vendor right here, the goblin vendor, isn't available for two more days. And we in the PTR, we have no Undercity, no Raids, no Spiritborn. And we don't get Rune Words or the Vendor to boost everything uh, until Friday. So we are basically on the normal pain train. So we leveled to um, 60. And I kind of put together this little like PTR leveling guy, which will get updated for um, Season 6 when it actually releases. However, there is a few things. The uh, Strongholds are actually gone now. This is no longer a thing. Um, you could do this for the PTR, but the devs did say that this is going to get nerfed because the XP on Strongholds is incredibly insane. And being able to um, basically infinitely repeat the Strongholds is absolutely insane. Uh, uh, Rax went and did this with some community members, and he was able to get 0 to 60 in uh, 20 minutes. So this is going to be changed, so this is off the board. So um, today's video is just going to talk about my experience in the uh leveling through the different difficulties here that you have um we started on expert okay so for a lot of people they weren't able to they didn't think like uh you can't access the vendor um and they were like how do you get to expert so if you guys are playing in the ptr or you're just now seeing this um you come over to you go into hard you start in hard then you just come over here and then you can change it to expert right away if you skip the campaign so um that's how you do that and then we are in here and this is kind of the strategy that i went through and did we did expert we skipped the campaign claim the renown when you do that you'll gain four levels um and i really had to try to figure out how to get your very first nightmare dungeon sigil because this is a very very strong way to gain a lot of xp especially early so you do have to do the tree of whispers okay to gain your 10 grim favor so I highly suggest that you just go through, you just complete two of these dungeons with the five, or if you want, you can go over to the Helltide and uh, defeat the Blood Maiden, or you can go over and do the um, PvP zone and kill the Seething Abomination for, for five. Just do two, and, um, and then you should be able to get 10, and then you'll get your first Nightmare Dungeon Sigil. Now, it does drop. It is not a guaranteed drop. So if you don't get it on the first one, you will need to get 10 more Grim Favors. And you have to do it all over again. But this is the way to get your very first Nightmare Dungeon Key. And when you do, then you'll start receiving your um, Sigil Dust. And then it should give you one at the end of completion through the Nightmare Dungeon. Uh, so when you do this, make sure to do all the events. Okay, Masterwork Mats along the way. This does not happen until uh, level 50. You do not start getting these until level 50. Level 50. So you can't, you cannot receive this stuff until level 50 for the masterwork mats. Um, completion gives the additional sigil, which is great. So I leveled through nightmare dungeons until 33. And then that's where we did the strongholds and I completed three and went from 33 to 42. And then basically strongholds were giving me two, sometimes three levels all the way into 60. Uh, once you get to like 55 though, it's like one per level. So, uh, but still there's plenty enough to do. But besides that, you're just going to do nightmare dungeons all the way. If you don't want to do Nightmare Dungeons, Hell Tides are perfectly fine. Uh, they're going to grant an insane amount of XP. Again, just follow other people. Open chests in the last 20 minutes. And then uh, the chest could give Nightmare Sigils. I did not test that, but that is an option. I was trying to figure out the best way to get those early since you can start doing Nightmare Dungeons at level 1. Now, once you reach level 50, you can change to Pennant, which we have here. Okay? And then once you go to Pennant, um, you can unlock Pits uh, 1 to 20. Um, then... After you clear a pit 20, you'll unlock Torment 1, which is what we're working on right now. Um, we're going to start running the pit, and we're going to grind the pit until we can get to pit 20 and then unlock Torment 1, as you guys can see here. Now, through my experience of leveling 1 to 60, it actually did not feel too bad. Um, it felt pretty good. I love the new interactions here with the the menu and how it shows you the you know the xp the gold all those things and then the the like difficulty you should be at you know if you're an experiencing player etc excuse me 
So I will say though, like besides the stronghold thing, it felt about the same as it currently is in live. So there really wasn't a difference as far as like this being faster than it was on live, at least in my experience, you still leveled pretty quickly. Um, I did start on expert, so you got way more gold and EXP. Um, now the devs did say that pennant is supposed to be the equivalent of world tier two. It felt a little bit stronger than that. So maybe like a world tier 2.5. But even with that said, it was perfectly fine. Like it just, we stayed on expert, blasted through it, and then we got to pen it and it's been perfectly fine. Now, one other thing that I will say about the experience is seeing the much lower numbers here is, 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 uh, is kind of interesting. This, this should change as we start to get better gear and ancestral gear and stuff. But as far as the items and everything dropping, um, I don't know necessarily that I felt a huge power jump. Um, when it came to stuff however the weapon that i just previous had did give me like 400 more damage this crossbow than my old bow that i had on so maybe that will feel like a bigger jump uh but with that said it just um it didn't feel super different it felt more or less the same as it was before i'm um, leveling to 60 however it is a little bit faster because we don't have 40 levels to go so in that sense it's a little bit faster but the experience was pretty fun um for all the Diablo 3 highlights, it felt the exact same. Now, during this process, I just used powers that I got as I unlocked them, like, and found the items. So I started at level one. I did not use any of my stuff in here. None of this gear, none of this crap. I didn't use any of it. Um, so I just used stuff as I got it. And then once we unlocked it, I just used the power. Uh, so that, that made it a little bit more challenging in that sense. But it felt really, really good besides that. Um... It felt very similar to D3 now that we're like at Pennant and now we're going to go farm the pit and try to get some gear to level up to get to Torment 1. So overall, it was pretty good. Helltide felt great. Nightmare Dungeons felt great even at the low levels. I think my very first one I did was like I was like level 8 doing them. So Nightmare Dungeons felt fantastic. It is a shame that the Strongholds are going to get nerfed. Um, and, you know, as far as the XP and stuff, because I haven't done Strongholds since season, what, 1? maybe season two. So um, it was very cool to actually go through and do these. Um, and there's only three per zone plus the new zone, which we don't have access to. So 18 times two on average. So it's 36 levels if you started from level one. So the fact that if they can figure out a way to not let us infinitely repeat these and only complete these one time, even if you join somebody else's game, it should be fine. I think they leave it how it is. But everything else felt great. Um, I didn't feel too much jump in the damage from the weapons or gear. However, when I did start putting powers on my gear, I really felt like that's where the huge jump was on top of all these modifiers. So it did feel really, really good in that sense. So overall, guys, not bad at all. Um, the Paragon board is crazy. Um, we only have access to 225 points at the moment. We get the other points uh, on Friday unless as I'm doing something in the pit, it'll give us more. But in the meantime, that's what we have. I just got to find some glyphs now. I only have one here. But I am excited to level these up just like from Diablo 3. So, so far, guys, from 1 to 60, not that bad. I think we did it in four hours. It wasn't too bad at all. And that was me doing it solo with just an elixir. And then when I could use the um, incense, I did. <clears throat> so it actually would probably a little bit less than that with the stronghold so it's probably going to be about the same about four or five hours uh just from um with you know without the strongholds so still very very good guys so now i'm, I'm going to go into the end game because now we're here level up our potions and now we're going to get cracking so overall not too bad guys um i will update this uh for season six as we continue on but right now this is what i have i can leave this down in the description uh, below if you guys want just let me know but make sure to like the video guys comment down below let me know what you guys think about the leveling experience changes since they're not allowing us to access uh that. the boost until friday so this was really really fun it didn't take me very long at all and that was playing a solo obviously if you're playing in a full team it's going to go way faster so yeah um oh also the party finder is on here guys for all those that are interested find a party you can go through here and just do this it's very very cool you just go and join up with people it's actually pretty awesome so go check that out uh, but yeah guys comment down below like the video let's get this to 100 likes don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one
Peace.